Hey, I'm Troops. Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to check out today is three things, or a few things, if you like. Not even three. I think we've got way more than three. Things that you should know before you actually start playing Save the World. Now, it's not bad. You know, there's nothing bad in this video. It's not saying don't play Save the World. I absolutely love Save the World. In fact, for the past year, it's been my go-to game. It's been my number one game for the past maybe over a year, maybe almost a year and a half, coming up to two years. But hopefully this guide will actually help you if you're just getting started out there in Fortnite Save the World or if you're thinking about playing it. So stay tuned and let's go and check it out. Okay, so before we get started, what I want to do is, if you could go back in time, I've used this question before, but I really like the answers that we get. If you could go back in time, what advice would you give yourself as a new player to this game? So just put in the comments down below something that you would like to have told yourself if you could have gone back in time. So let's start then. So number one is play through the story mission in Stonewood. Anything else is a waste of time. So when you first start off in the game, it's very tempting to do lots of different things. So you might want to go off and do a bit of trading with your friends. You might want to go off and you know do a mission that you've just not seen before, something that's come up new. You might be thinking, oh, I need to get nuts and bolts for this and that. But it's nothing like that. What you actually want to do at the first is just play through the, the story missions in Stonewood. So just work through the story on the first tab and just work through those stories. What that's going to do is teach you each mission. You're going to be able to get maps while you're in missions as well and that should make the game a lot lot easier for you by the time you've done with stonewood you're going to have a really good basic understanding of the game and you're going to be in really good stead to carry on from there tip number two is learn about survivors now i've put a guide in the top right hand corner uh, up there so there's a little white letter i in the top right hand corner of this video but one thing to note is you need to learn survivors because there's a lot of things to level up in this in this game so you've got survivors that you can level up but you've also got weapons you've got heroes you've got traps that you can level up uh you know there's, there's defenders there's just so many different things that you can level up but the key one the one to know about is your survivors so i've actually done this i've put it in the top right hand corner i have got leveling guides as well if you just search fortnite save the world leveling guide i think mine comes up up there somewhere near the top but it's definitely worth learning about the levels and how things work but survivors are going to be absolutely key if you're going to survive in this game and if you're going to do well and flourish which takes us on nicely to our next point which is don't over level your weapons or your heroes what you want to be doing is really keeping them where they are so if you're in stonewood don't go over level 10 with each hero plankerton level 20 and so forth once you get to the end of plankerton you'll probably understand uh, how the levels work and what to level up and whatnot and i'm not saying this just because i don't want you guys to be op i'm not saying play the game at pace or anything like that i mean if there was a way to get better level heroes earlier on i would say go for it the main reason is that the materials that you're going to need for example if you level up a a weapon to level even 11 you're going to start needing malachite you're going to start needing silver you're going to start needing things that again are going to get tricky to get hold of while you're in the lower end missions the game doesn't really cap you i kind of wish it would it would be good if it only only let you go up to level 10 while you're in stonewood and plankton but you can over level these things the only problem with that is you're going to have a real hard time getting hold of materials to make the things that you need if you level them too fast so stonewood try and keep everything up to level 10 plankton everything up to level 20 and try not to go over that that includes everything like survivors traps the whole shebang everything that you can level up try and stick to that guideline and you'll be absolutely fine Early on in the game as well, I would suggest learning to build up a pyramid pretty quickly. Now, you can get more creative later on, and there are some great guides out there. David Dean is an absolute trap master. If you don't follow him already or you're not subscribed to his channel, then go over and check him out. I'll put a link in the description down below. But to start with, just learn the simple pyramid build and how to get that up fast. Being able to build that on the fly sometimes can save you, and sometimes it can just save you a bit of time when you're trying to do missions, especially even if you're trying to solo some of the lower missions. It might actually help you out there. So learn the pyramid build early on and then you can get more creative as time goes on another one that i would say is as well learn how to farm so things like nuts and bolts uh, you're going to need so for nuts and bolts really you want to be going to the industrial areas or to the city maps your basic maps you can get from all the maps all the different ones on there you might want to go to a forest area for example if you need to get more wood and then mech parts you know learn where to get them from there's loads of guides again on youtube but the mechanical parts so things like sturdy and things like that you're going to need then you can get those from places like just city maps again or even better from industrial areas but learn how to farm get a good farm hero and learn how to keep your mat slap built up i would probably say probably spend about an hour a day each day uh, each time that you play or 30 minutes to an hour each time that you play just farming and just getting just building up your mats just so that you've got everything you need for those next few missions 
Okay, as you're playing through Stonewood and Plankerton, learn which heroes you like. For example, you may like soldiers, which are the main damage dealers in the game. You might like constructors if you're into the building and the trap, you know, being a trap master side of it. You've also got outlanders as well. So if you like gadgets and utilities, someone like Enforcer Grizzly or someone like that, maybe someone who you really, really enjoy using. And then ninjas do the melee and combat. Ninjas initially, when I first started playing this game, were super terrible. They're actually improving. As time's gone on, ninjas have got more viable and better and better. In fact, I even once made a video called ninjas suck but this now you know the meta that we've got right now ninjas are massively improving we've got heroes like dire and we've got some of the new ones that are coming out as well like the skirmisher and the, you know they're, they're really really viable so if that's your kind of play style then go for it but find out which ones you like and make sure that you're using that hero often and getting used to it and seeing where you can help out your teammates Speaking of helping out teammates as well, the last point that I want to get, and this is a really important one, is get familiar with the etiquette of the game. Don't go AFK, do you know, if you're going to go AFK, announce it, make sure everyone's okay with it. If I'm in a group of friends, for example, and someone says, uh, oh, I'm just going to go and make a sandwich, or I'm just going to go to the bathroom, or whatever it is, I don't really mind. As long as the whole group agrees and says, yeah, that's fine, then that's okay. But try not to go AFK. AFK in this, in this game is a bit of a plague at the moment now epic are doing things to fix it but it's still a problem so try not to go afk because you're just adding to a much bigger problem Point number two on etiquette is to communicate. Make sure that you're talking lots in the game. If you've not got access to voice comms, then, you know, just type. You know, if you've got something going on or there's a storm chest nearby, maybe you're asking if you can start the mission or not. But just communicate. Don't be that silent guy. The silent types in this game don't really work. It's definitely a social game, and you're going to get much more out of the game if you're playing in teams. One thing that I would say if you're going to communicate is jump into the Discord. You can jump into our Discord. Demon Joe France has got a Discord. This is the official Fortnite Discord. I think that's got a little save the room section in it save the world uh, section in there as well so it's definitely worth getting into communities so that you can build up that communication learning to, you know making friends in the game and playing with friends will make this game so much better for you it'll take this game from an 8 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 just by having that communication and having those community groups with you Another good little rule of etiquette is highlight the nodes for the Outlanders. The Outlanders need these little nodes to power up a lot of the skills. So things like, you know, the bears that they use and a lot of the other skills that they've got. So make sure you highlight these. All you do is go to use them and the little bar will fill up. I didn't actually know this for ages. I mean, when I first started playing the game, there were no YouTubers telling you stuff like this. There were YouTubers out there, but it was a lot about gameplay and showing you all this cool stuff. But there was no one telling you this. So the nodes that you get here, if you're not using an Outlander, if you just use the nodes, so just use it as though the... The bar goes up, it'll actually mark it so that the other Outlanders can see it on the map and then they can go and get it if that's something that they need. Also as well, if you are playing an Outlander, then you can drop the Llama. So if you're someone who's not doing a lot of the building or the, the constructors built up this brilliant base and you've not really helped with that, then what you can do, just as a nice little rule of etiquette, it's not something you've got to do, but the nice thing to do is to just drop your Llama down there, help him beat the Llama up to get all the mats out of it, and then step away from it and let the Constructor pick them all up. If you're doing the, what we said about communicating, then the Constructor's going to know that these are for him or her, and they're going to be able to get the mat, just some of the mats back. They'll probably not be able to get them all back, but it'll be great if you could give them some as a bit of a gesture, as if to say, you know, thanks for the building. And my final point in the video, if you like, is work towards the objective. Do you know, a lot of people jump into the missions, they just go out farming, and I've done the objective almost solo, while, you know, other people in the mission have gone out just farming the stuff that they need. But make sure you're working towards the objective, communicate with, you know, the, your group, and again, you're going to have a better time. It's going to take the game from an 8 up to a 10. That's how important that kind of part is. Play this game as a social game. It's one of those games that is just better with friends. Okay guys, so that's everything that I've got for you in this video. As I said, I want to do, I like doing videos like this because there's so many new players out there. But if you've got some tips that you want to give to new players coming into the game, because we have got quite a few, especially while the game's uh, been discounted recently, what you tend to find is there's a big influx of new players. And this, you know, this it's very difficult at first. Helping out new players, I always find is a great, just, for me, that's the best part of being a content creator. But let me know what you think down below, guys. Let me know something that you want to tell the new players as well. Something that you could tell them that's going to improve the game for them and something maybe you wish that you'd known when you first started playing fortnite save the world but for now guys look massive massive thanks for watching i am going to keep putting in these fortnite save the world videos every now and again and eventually we will go back uh, to fortnite save the world in full force i'm just waiting for some more content to come out a lot of people have been asking you know well where have you been late you know what's going on and a lot of it is purely just down to the game not having enough content for a creator to put two videos out a day on there just isn't enough and what i don't want to be doing is generating 
uh, re you know, repeated content, giving you content that everybody else is doing. You know, I've always prided myself on doing things that are slightly different. But, you know, this part of the game that you've got to make the same if you're going to do these videos. You know, everybody's done a farming nuts and bolts guide, for example, and things like that. But some of the things like the stupid science videos, some of the new weapons and some of the stuff we do with the new weapons, I just like to be a little bit more unique. And I think that's to do that i'm going to need a lot more content than what they've got so i'm kind of letting some content build up i know we've had the hoverboards and the drift boards and stuff recently but i need as i said i'm just going to let the content build up a little bit rather than milking views someone commented you know the views are down on the on your other content lit and everything else and you should just just do fortnite but I, one i don't want to be pigeonholed into doing one type of content and two as well i'm not here just to milk views off you guys we could put out a fortnite save the world video and just call it fortnite save the world gameplay and it would get more views than what we're actually getting on some of the other series that i'm doing but to me that's just milking subscribers and that's not treating my community and the subscribe and the fan base and the ones that watch regularly that's not treating you guys fairly this channel is going to be a good channel you know i want to make this channel work and if it means taking a bit of a you know two steps back you know to take three steps forward then that's what we've got to do sometimes you've got to do that you got to speculate to accumulate and that's what we're doing here and you know what i'm really loving the far cry series at the moment so we can at least finish that off and in, in between as i said as things come up then we're going to do more fortnite save the world in between but a massive massive thank you to you guys that have stuck with the channel it means the world to me i always put these little bits on the end for those of you that have got this far into the video because i know some people you know you might only watch uh five minutes eight minutes for example because i see the youtube stats but you know for those of you that get this this, to this far to this point in the video i always like to put a little bit of a, a special message on there just to really say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me you're the ones um as i said who are most important and you're the ones who all this content is geared around so huge thank you for that guys massive thanks for watching if you are new to the channel though and you are not part of the latana army hit that red button before you leave and i will catch you guys on the next one take care guys